Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Lazaro could not be here on the live stream. <laughs> Actually, I could, Captain. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Bot 10 Art. My name is Lazaro Gomez and you're tuned in to the Friday night live stream. Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to the Friday night live stream. Hanging out with Mr. Captain Picard. He's one of my favorite pops. Um, uh, my best friend, he, he got me like basically all of the, <laughs> all of the Star Trek uh, pops. So I keep them here close to uh, my bedroom. But I keep Captain Picard every once in a while. And I take him out and take him for joy rides in Susie the War Wagon, which is my car, and uh, kind of mess around with him. <laughs> There's a really funny vlog uh, video that my wife and I did messing around with Captain Picard and Worf and a few other characters. But anyways, we're going to kick it all off. It is Friday. Let me lower this a little bit. Just got something in the background. We're going to open up the uh, chat for tonight's live stream. And then we're going to get everything uh, everything sorted out. So here we go. We got a lot to cover. We got a lot to cover, man. <laughs> there we go. Popping out the chat. Okay, so I got the chat now open. Uh, that way we can we can communicate and you could leave me all kinds of comments and questions and all that good stuff so diving right in to uh, to this week's live stream <laughs> mm. there's a lot going on um, there's a lot going on there's a lot of commissions of course everybody is very very patient and I guess, you know, we'll just address everything as we go along. So first things first, I do apologize for kind of spamming everybody on Instagram. <laughs> I might have gone a little crazy, but this was the first week that I was back from jury duty and I was excited and I was posting stuff. And so I hope I didn't, um, hope I didn't turn some of you people off uh, with all my posting. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, also, I have... <clears throat> I have completed the um, the Stormtrooper helmet. It's all dirty and grimy and nasty. Uh, there is the cancer ribbon. So I am going to uh, give this to my friend tomorrow, uh, so that he can so that he can give it to his mom. So I'm really excited about how it turned out. Um, the colors are really really nice. I put a matte clear coat on it because i kind of wanted it to stay that way but i did post this up on my uh instagram and also on my website so you can go check that out there there's also an there's also an instructable on how this helmet was done so if you want to make your own you can buy this uh little diy helmet they're hard to find usually uh when they first came out they were like eight bucks but now they're like 16 you know uh the price has gone up because they're so hard to find um but yeah so if you want to make your own you can go ahead and grab that you can head over to instructables forward slash bot 10 art and you can see my instructable on how i made this uh there's no video or anything like that but you get a step-by-step -step on everything that i did with this this helmet right here so uh also with that I kind of accepted a bit of a challenge because I will be the first one to tell you that I am horrible at self-promoting myself, of self-promotion. I'm really terrible about it because I kind of feel like I just do what I do and if people like it, then great. Um, if they don't, then that's great too. I mean, it's a great big world. Uh, I certainly don't want to be the person that's like forcing what I do down your throat and, you know, accepting... Uh, having you accept it for what it is so um yeah <laughs> with that said like i like i mentioned before i am horrible at self-promotion so on instagram i teased a little bit that if we get to 100 subscribers on my youtube channel uh i will show you a video or i will upload a video on how i do my custom pops 
So, uh, you know, on this video, you can't really tell too much, but a lot of detail goes into these pops. And I have already done about 20 ish pops or so, but um, yeah, I get hired to do these custom pops right here and different people and different characters or whatever the case may be. But uh, my client, Kaylee, she hired me to create this custom pop for her of a character that she created for some of her college classes and stuff like that. So she wanted to kind of have a 3D model of her invention or her creation and I'm in the process of creating it. So these are my custom pops. They are DIY. They come in these, you know, DIY boxes. And then of course I do all the modeling. I do all the paint job on it. Uh, sometimes I do custom boxes. I have another client that wants two, um, two pops and wants custom boxes and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of detail that goes into these. They take about a week, two weeks, depending on what all is needed for the pop. Uh, this particular one, this particular one has 3D printed pieces that I made with my 3D printer Saturday. Uh, and it goes attached and different places and stuff like that so yeah <laughs> and there you have it if you want a custom pop or you want me to make you a custom pop head over to bot 10 art uh, there's links there's links to a page that'll take you to the custom pop page and then there you can start your commission it starts by sending me an email I send you a checklist of everything that we need so that you can have your very own pop just like this one so uh, yeah, the challenge is for me to go on uh, my social media websites and basically put that challenge out there. If I reach 100 subscribers onto the YouTube channel, I will make a video step by step on how one of these gets made. And I'm kind of teasing the idea, but um, you will you will know <laughs> you will know what the character is once the video comes up it's something that's on the internet um, it's something that i enjoy <laughs> a lot and it's going to be a gift for another youtuber the custom pop that i'm going to make so if we get to 100 subscribers i will put up that video and you have something cool so there you go uh that's kind of like the first step for me to kind of break into that self-promotion I know uh, I'm really horrible about it because I really don't feel like there's anything uh, special or out of this world when it comes to that sort of stuff. So this is all brand new to me <laughs> and we'll just go with it. So I do want to say uh, thank you for the new subscribers that we have onto the channel. I hope uh, that you stay for a very long time. I hope that you enjoy the videos that I put up and I want to be the first to welcome you to our community. So this community and the people that follow of this channel are like-minded individuals, just like myself. There's a lot of artists here. There's photographers, there is cosplayers, there is uh, prop makers, just like myself. I do artwork, toys, and props. So there's a lot to be shared and there's a lot to be learned here on my channel. So, uh, like I said, if you're new, I hope you stay for a long time and thank you. Thanks for subscribing. Mm. Next thing I got to talk about, I'm really excited because I posted, I posted up on, uh, inst I'm sorry, not Instagram on instructables. I put up some new instructables and I come to find out that for the fourth time in a row, I was featured as one of the uh, I guess members of instructables so that means that one of one of my instruct uh, instructables has been viewed for over a thousand views and that puts you featured and it kind of gives you a bit more exposure and that's really something cool and something exciting and something that I really did not anticipate <laughs> so uh, so I say thank you for that as well and Moving forward, <laughs> we got a lot of things going on. We have um, the pop figure. We have some other stuff. But tonight, 
uh, if you couldn't tell from the thumbnail that I posted, uh, I'm actually doing these custom pop stands. So what I did is I modeled this a while back for my ash pop and I put ash here and he's in a little container and there's also an instructable for that but I'm starting to make copies of these and I'm selling them both on eBay and also uh, my website so tonight I am going to be painting this one because this one's actually going to go out to somebody uh, but these stands I'll be making a lot more of them and they'll be able to fit basically any pop that you want. It doesn't have to be an ash pop or anything like that. Uh, but you can kind of display your pop figures. Whoa! <laughs> he ran away, Captain! Ran away. But you can kind of uh, display your pops in a different way. If you like to take them out of the box or whatever, you can get these uh, little stands. I have two different. I have two versions. One that's painted. One that comes just regular. Um, unpainted it's a white acrylic that you can paint yourself but i will have a lot more of these coming up pretty soon so tonight we're gonna paint one of these so i'm excited about that also on our wall ta -da! <laughs> so my daughter sophie uh made this piece of artwork and we put it up on the wall so that everybody on the live stream can see it so it's kind of like her little gift to me and, uh, and I'm proudly displaying it. Proudly displaying it on my wall. <laughs> proudly displaying it on my wall. Also, uh, by the end of this video, I got a little secret right here that I will be showing everybody. And I want you guys to leave me a comment as to whether you want me to make a video of this particular thing or not. So I'm going to let you guys decide. So now I'm going to adjust my lights. We're going to flip things over. I'm going to flip the camera around, grab some paints, and start working on our project for tonight. So that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> I got to fix these lights, angle them down. A little darkness. Ah, here we go. Get some light on the table. All right, here we go, guys. All right. And here we have it. There's uh there's the captain. <laughs> Make it so number one. So yeah. Uh Captain Picard hangs out right there. Of course, this is the custom pop that I'm currently working on. And I have a lot more to go through. So uh for the rest of the evening after the live stream and the remainder of the weekend, I will be working on this guy. And I have already shown that there's the star wars helmet so we're going to put that off to the side and then we're going to get to our project there we are all right be right back i'll be right back right back all right <laughs> there's a flagger <laughs> Get rid of that. <laughs> the desk sometimes gets uh, gets a little disheveled or disorganized. It's a lot of sandpaper that I've been working. I got this uh, different kinds of sandpaper that I work on my custom pops with. And here is some Scopey. So like I said, if uh, if we reach that goal, I will make a video for you guys. All right, so I'm working with the same um, the same paints that I got earlier from Walmart that we did the shield and a few other projects here on the channel. So we're going to do the same thing for this guy. So let's see if we can zoom in just a bit more so you can kind of... Sorry, I'm not trying to make anybody sick. <laughs> <laughs> motion sickness but I do want you to see uh, kind of get a better view of what that is so yeah the pop has uh, feet they're all different but the next generation of these stands are not gonna have these footprints but they the area will be flat enough to where you can actually uh, stand the pop with without any problems so that will be coming up 
Let's get some paints. So I got this giant bucket of paint. And tonight, we got a few colors that we'll be working with. So this is this is the first color, it's uh, nutmeg. We're gonna use that. So the idea is to go from flat black, which is what you see here, uh, and progressively work towards highlights and lighter colors. So we have this uh this nutmeg brown classic caramel and i want to mix a little bit a little bit of this uh, sun-kissed peach along with white and that's going to be our uh, highlights that we'll be using a dry brush so those are ready to go <clears throat> Ready to go. Ready to go. And of course, this is the um, this is the blank or the kit. Like if you wanted to buy. Uh, this kit and you want to paint your own it comes just like this I know it's sideways and I'll show it a little bit better later on, but uh, Yeah, you can get your own stand and paint it however you want So that's the exact same one that we're working on just a different copy and what I did is I got a I got the original clay stand for this uh, Made a mold of it and made resin copies and stuff like that. So that's what these are. These are made out of resin so let's get some brushes get some brushes here we go and then uh, for this particular nut, nutmeg brown we're just going to shake the bottle up a little bit and we're gonna coat coat the ground because that's gonna be uh, mixing in with the with the black so all the little indentations and stuff like that that's gonna be black but the nutmeg uh, is gonna start coming out and then We'll get, we'll get progressively lighter and get the highlights on these rocks and stuff like that. And then hopefully have it all done by the time, of, by the time we get to the end of the live stream. So I'm going to shake up some paint. I'm going to shake up some paint. I'll be right back. So here we have it and this one I'm just gonna apply it right onto the surface and then start moving the paint around I'm not too concerned about uh, you know having a having a small palette and mixed paint and all that stuff because I want that to cover the ground and then I'm gonna use the hair dryer to dry that up all right here we go So right now, like I said, I'm just kind of covering everything with this uh, with this brown. It is kind of um, it flows nicely because it does have a lot of liquid in it. But as you can see, as I move it around, it's starting to uh, pick up a lot of the black. And that's what I want. So what we're trying to simulate here is uh, dirt and grime with this particular brown. And once I once I hit it with the blow dryer, it will dry up a little bit and get darker. 
it will it will get a lot uh, a lot darker once I hit it with the with the hair dryer. So that's what we're going for. That's what we're going for right there. Let's uh, dry this up a little bit. And you can see the, the brown is starting to mix in with the black really, really nice. Uh, the more this dries, the more, uh, the darker it'll get. There you have it. See, we got a nice, uh, nice dirt color. There's some highlights right around here, and then it gets darker on the edges and stuff like that. And that's uh, that's what we want. We want, you know, we don't want a whole uniform color across the whole thing because that kind of looks weird and it doesn't look natural. Um, if you look at the ground outside, uh, dirt has a lot of different colors because there could be a lot of different things mixed in there. A lot of organic uh, stuff, you know, uh, branches and all kinds of different stuff. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, start using the classic caramel. So I'm going to mix this up or shake it up, I should say. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Isn't it exciting? <laughs> Just watching me shake paint. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got. I always keep these like uh, little scraps of cardboard, usually cereal boxes or any kind of, you know, item that we buy for the house. I kind of break it all up and I use these uh, pieces of cardboard to do exactly what we're doing, either to mix paint or to build, uh, to build walls for molds and stuff like that. So it's always a good idea to kind of keep these little pieces of cardboard uh, with you. So we got this paint and I'm not going to go uh, all the way, uh, I'm not going to use the classic caramel right away because I'm going to mix it up with a little bit of the brown and just make it a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter. So uh, right here on the side, you can see that, I, that I'm using both colors. Whoa. Zoom in. And I'm going to start mixing that in to just give me a lighter shade of brown. And I'm going to kind of just hit it every once in a while, every, you know, different spots. But you can see it starts uh, bringing out some of the rocks and stuff. There we go. I got a bit too much here, I think. So just cover that up with some more brown. There we go. Dry it up. And you can see you can see how as it dries it starts getting a little bit darker so that's exactly what we want So then now I have my brush here 
and I'm going to just dry off a lot of that paint. Now we can start using the classic caramel straight up. So I just got a little bit out of the bottle. And we're going to start hitting all of these uh, different areas here. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm going to dry a lot of it off of off on this uh, napkin here on the side. And I'm going to start hitting some of the rocks. And kind of light, lightening up those uh, different surfaces. There we go. See, if you look at rocks in nature, uh, they have they have multiple colors as well. It's not just, you know, one color rock. <laughs> it just doesn't look right. And then right now what I'm doing is just kind of lightly going over the ground. Using a dry brush technique to kind of emphasize some of the ground. Not everywhere, but... Uh, just in a few spots to kind of bring that out. And then lastly, once we let this dry, uh, we're going to add some of the highlights and stuff like that. So And you want to add highlights... Uh, in the higher parts of the, of the terrain so if you if you were to look at this from the side a side view it's not flat just like this brush it actually has uh, some indentations and some high spots and then some low spots so you want to get a lot of this uh, lighter tone or the highlight color on the high spots it kind of helps to uh, sell it kind of helps to sell the idea a little bit better because naturally those are the things that would get uh, hit by the sun the most. The high spots, you know, not so much the low spots. All right, so I'm happy with that. We're going to mix up just a, we're going to mix in some more uh, highlights using the Sunkissed Peach. I know it's a little weird to use a peach color, but it does the effect nicely. So there's some peach and I'm mixing it off on the side with a little bit of the brown or sorry the caramel and that kind of gives us a lighter shade so we could start uh, hitting these rocks with it. And you can see I'm not I'm not doing every single side just uh just enough to kind of give it highlights and give it texture and stuff and again i'm using the dry brush so um it brings out a lot of that that detail there we go that's nice. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I want to introduce a little bit of yellow to this. A little bit. Not too much, but I do want to introduce a little bit. So I'm going to get some yellow to mix in with the brown and see what we get. And the cool thing about all of this is that 
you know you're just you're just painting so if you don't like it you can just prime it again and um, and try different things so here I'm going for a bit of an a bit of a muddy autumn type feel so we're gonna introduce a little bit of yellow mixing the paint in the background that's that crazy noise <laughs> so Again, it's very little yellow. Here's my uh, here's my color palette. So you can see where I have the brown, mixed it in with some of the camel, and then we have the uh, the really light peach, that's right there. And now I'm introducing a tiny, tiny little bit of yellow. And you know it looks it looks humongous on the camera, but really this is tiny. And again, dry brush, just kind of going over all the surface to just give me a different hue. Hitting all the high spots. And just giving it that effect. And there you have it easy enough <laughs> easy enough we have our terrain painted we came from absolutely uh, complete black to this right here and you can see that we added a lot of uh, detail in a very short amount of time and that's that's what you want with these kits I mean they're really versatile if you wanted to do some kind of like alien terrain you can paint it all red and it could be the surface of Mars for a, you know for a Marvin the Martian pop or whatever the case may be but these are actually like really cool really versatile um, and fun they're fun to paint and as you can see like I said they're very fast and they dry very fast if you use acrylics and stuff like that so I'm gonna hit this with the blow dryer and then I'm going to give it a matte coat finish and that'll seal in all the colors onto the uh, onto the piece and we'll be done. We'll be done with this particular one. So here we go. Yeah, this this stuff dries so fast uh, that I mean you can see it's dry to the touch so I'm gonna go ahead and take this outside give it a nice uh, clear coat of matte and I'll be right right back and then I'll show you uh, how I used my how I used this right here to make my display of the ash pop all right so I will be right back in the meantime I will let you be entertained by Captain Kirk. Or, sorry, <laughs> Captain Kirk. Wrong Captain. Sorry, Captain Picard. Uh, we'll let him talk to you for a minute. And I'll be right, right back. I'll be right back. Grab my... Uh, let's see. There it is. Grab my matte finish. We're going to spray paint this and I'll be right back.
Did you keep them entertained, Captain? <laughs> but of course I did. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. There's the um, there's the the matte clear coat that is now sealed. And I'm going to use the hairdryer again one more time. But you can see that the spray actually made those colors pop a lot more. And it just, it looks really, really cool. And it's ready to have a pop on it. So let's go ahead and dry this up real quick. All right, and that's it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring over my uh, ash pop so that you could see how I used one of these uh, to do a diagram of my ash pop. So uh, this is a a top view of the display but inside that case you could actually see the same uh the same thing that we just painted it's right there and i added some foliage and my ash pop is in there this was a common uh this was a common ash pop that we kind of bloodied up and made it super cool but i will show you that now when i flip the camera Flip the camera. So here it is. This is uh this is pretty much all dry, and you can kind of you can kind of see right there all the detail that we painted really really fast. And like I said, it you know it's ready for basically any pop any pop that you want to display. Uh, if you have a case for it or whatnot, you can. You know, you could put it on these. I tested it with my Saw Gerrera for Star Wars, and it looked pretty cool on this. But uh, as you can tell with my Ash Pop, there he is in his little box. <laughs> like I said, this was the uh, common Ash Pop, and we did a we did on a live stream video. We bloodied him all up when he got him. We got him all grimy and nasty. Uh, using acrylic paints and then I grabbed some small branches from my oak tree outside and I added it to the case and so now this case sits right next to my bedroom or right next to my bed and I get to see my little ash pop whenever I want and it's kind of neat you can see it from all angles and you can see all the detail that uh, that I made with that custom custom pop stand and this right here is the exact same dimensions so if I wanted to swap it out for a different different kind of uh, terrain then I can certainly do that I could take my ash pop out of this box and um, change you know swap out the terrain and there you have it just like that yeah <laughs> it's exciting I'm like dropping all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's usually um, that's usually the way I do it. It's kind of something that I, you know, I just recently got into. So uh, these, there's some other videos. I'll probably put a link to it at the end of this one on how I made this particular stand for the Ash Pop. And uh, tonight, I just wanted to kind of show it off and talk about. Um, where you can get your own if you want one. So I do make them. They come blanks. Just like this one. So you can uh, you can make your own. And as, and as you can see it is the exact 
same copy <laughs> only I just painted this one for somebody who's gonna buy it and uh, I have blanks just like this one you could you can find them on eBay and also my uh, store but if you go to the eBay store just look up bot 10 toys and you'll find it there so there's that stand we got everything uh, pretty much wrapped up for tonight for all that we wanted to do as far as the painting of the stand goes we're gonna clean up a little bit I put my paints away <laughs> and then I'm gonna talk about something that I want you guys to let me know whether it's something that you want to see me do or not so we'll see so um, driving around I frequent a lot of stores <laughs> I go to a lot of different stores uh, you know Walgreens uh, Ross toy stores Walmart all kinds of different stores and I'm always looking for all kinds of really unique things that I can kind of you know get inspired by and do uh, one of the things I mentioned before is I like to build Gundam uh, models they're like these little chibi models that I like to build. So I have a few that I'm going to be building on my free time if I get some. <laughs> I'm always busy. But uh, walking, ar walking around in Walgreens, I found this. <laughs> so this is a very, uh, very beat up Guardians of the Galaxy model kit. And it's got two figures inside. It's got Rocket Raccoon and it's got, of course, Star-Lord. And it's got these little paints. But I thought it was really funny um, about this particular toy because, uh, number one, the box was all messed up. Which is kind of cool because if you find stuff like this at Walgreens or in different stores and stuff like that, uh, you can talk to the manager and they'll give you a nice little discount. It's not big, but it'll help. So... Uh, this was on the shelf, and it was priced at, it had, it had the price somewhere on here, but it was priced at like $10, and they gave it to me for 5 So, not bad for a 5 you know, $5 little thing, but what I thought was hilarious is that they just give you these paints, and we're going to take them out <laughs> right now, <laughs> and see what we have to work with. When it comes to uh, making this particular kit. So this is the Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. You have uh, paint your own statue. And if you look on the side. That Star-Lord looks legit. And Rocket Raccoon looks looks just as good. So <laughs> I, was, I was cracking up. Because uh, if you open this. You have two little, two little sets of paint. And I haven't opened them, but they kind of look dry. But they give you these two little sets. And I'm looking at it, and there's no orange. So you're going to have to mix red and yellow and kind of make an orange so that you can paint Rocket. <laughs> or at least Rocket suit and stuff like that. There's also no brown. There is no brown in this. Rocket Raccoon is brown. <laughs> So if you look at the box, you know, he's got some gray, he's got some brown, he's got some white on him, and his outfit is orange, and uh, the little stand is black. So I don't see how you would how you would make that with these. Uh, nowhere do I see on any of the figures a green or a blue, but they decided to throw that in, and... Of course, there's no skin tone for Star-Lord. <laughs> uh, they give you two brushes. One of which I use. Uh, I have a ton of these. You could actually get them at Walmart. It's like a whole package of like 20 of them for five bucks. And I use these to whenever I'm using my tester's paint because I don't want to mess up my good brushes. And they give you this real tiny... Uh, real thin fine liner which is kind of interesting I might keep it around 
it's a it's a fairly decent brush it's you know nothing to write home about but we got a brush and if i look at the figures themselves i can't really tell all right so yeah there's there's a there's a i guess a patent number or a serial number on the bottom of each statue and they're not acrylic and they kind of they kind of feel like stone so i'm not exactly sure what these are made of i'm not exactly sure what they're made of so this is not a toy for art material use only <laughs> this is distributed by the east west distributing company in deerfield, deerfield illinois so maybe uh i don't know maybe i can contact them and find out what they're made out of but i do have a star lord which is there and it is kind of rough it does have some uh artifacting in the actual copy so what i was thinking is i could do one of two things so one uh, i could paint these and just have them around for myself or uh, i can make copies i can make copies of this if i clean it up nicely i could probably uh, make a nice mold of each one and paint a set of these and give them away give them away here on the youtube channel so uh if i do go that route I will do that. I'll make molds of these and make copies out of resin and then paint these and give them away. So I don't I don't exactly know what I'm going to do with this, but I picked it up and I thought it was so funny that they give you these these basic colors to work with. Uh, but I don't know. I guess I'm trying to find an age limit. So it includes two statues six primary paints two brushes and one paint guide ah here's the paint guide <laughs> all right so adult supervision recommended so i guess this is intended for kids to paint and it it's it is kind of cool to kind of like introduce you know somebody into into that sort of uh into that sort of design or i guess craft it's a it's a really neat way to like bring somebody who is interested into crafting and stuff like that that uh that perhaps they can do this so i do notice all right yeah, let's see caution if paint contacts eyes or mouth immediately wash with all right so it's got some safety features right here and looks like they they give you a i guess a paint scheme so for the leather jacket, you get the black and the red, and you get kind of a leather jacket color. For uh, the eyes, you have uh, straight red. For the mask, pants, blaster, and base, it all goes black. And then uh, blue and some other color that I can't identify. Blue and some other color with a little bit of black and a little bit of white will get you <laughs> will get you the gray the the blue bluish gray uh shirt of star lord so i don't know if i trust all this but anyways it's a neat it's a neat little crafty thing that you could do uh if you want to do a little activity with your kids and stuff like that and if you're into guardians of the galaxy it's a neat project but i don't know uh, i think i'm going to take it to I'm going to take it to the bot 10 art level. <laughs> so I just want to see if you guys are interested in me making a video of the paint job on these. So just let me know. I kind of teased it a little bit on Instagram where I picked up these two, these two characters. I picked up this little kit and I'm leaving it up to you. I mean, if you want to see a video, leave me a comment. Say, yes, I want to see a video of you know the the star lord or the guardians of the galaxy project let's call it that guardians of the galaxy project so if you want to see a video of me uh just painting these then leave me a comment let me know and i will certainly make a video for that so 
we have that we have the other challenge for 100 subscribers um yeah it's pretty cool <laughs> not bad for five bucks i mean come on like you can't go wrong they you know they look cool they look cool on their own they're not painted at all but uh but yeah if i do make a mold of these i will certainly clean these little things up uh make molds and then paint those so because i want to have a set so i would make i would make one set for myself and then i would make one that i'll give away if you guys decide that you want this video so there you have it that's it <laughs> that's what i wanted to talk about uh, and it's a cool little kit i've seen i've seen a few other ones i've seen uh i've seen my little pony kits i've seen uh disney princesses and spider-man and a few other characters just like this one but of course those were not damaged and they want full price for those so uh i went with the i went with the star lord and rocket <laughs> so there you have it and just with that uh i guess we're gonna call it a night uh, you got to see some pretty cool stuff I got to keep working on this custom pop for my client who is uh, very patiently waiting for her custom pop <laughs> and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna keep moving on so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend um, of course have fun create stuff contact me whenever you want if you have any questions any comments any concerns or anything like that or if you're working on something cool like definitely share it with me and I'll you know and I'll post it on my Instagram uh, and stuff like that but with that like I said thank you for everything you guys do thank you for supporting me and all the things that I do if you want to see this project come to life make sure you leave me a comment let me know and uh, and we'll make it happen and we'll make it happen but yes Thank you for tuning in to the Friday Night live stream. Thank you for all the support, for all the likes, for the new subscribers. Man, it's so awesome. So thank you, thank you very much. And I will post links, videos, and some subscribe button right around there. To Well, actually, let me go this way. <laughs> either way, either way it works. But, uh, but anyways, like I said, have a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you next week. Thank you and bye bye. Bye. Links and videos. Oh, I got an idea. Links and videos right there. Click. <laughs>